Hello everyone, Fixer here, and today we're going to be playing a game called The Fall of Porcupine, developed by Critical Rabbit and published by Assemble Entertainment. We're going to start with the prologue, because the prologue is a separate experience from the main game, as in the prologue is not included in the main game. But you can get it for free on Steam. It's about two hours long. I'll put a link below so you guys can download and play the demo yourself if you'd like to. There will also be a link, of course, for the actual main game, which I'll be continuing after I finish this prologue. Anyways, the uh, the dev for this game kind of described it as a night in the woods-like, and after playing the prologue, I'd, I'd have to agree quite a bit. It's a it's an atmospheric um, narrative type game, platforming, a little parkour, a lot of dialogue, and some mini games and, and whatnot. If you like Night in the Woods, you're gonna like this game. Okay, I'm ready for this. Let's hop in. Hi out there! Hope you're well, and I'm glad to have you back. Today I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Again, I was on the road for you this week and ran into a lot of old familiar faces. Among other things, I stopped by Gilbert's this weekend and sampled Giuliano's latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. Highly recommend for fans of fruity drinks. It's more for the holidays, though, but feel free to give it a try. I love this time of year, and you can probably guess why. But I can't guess why. The Hibernation Festival is right around the corner. The preparations have already begun, and I talked to the organizer. And that guy's just jamming away. Is that an otter? I don't know. Some popular bands will be on the bill, and local arts will be represented as well. Plus, of course, there's the big stew contest again. Remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. There are a lot of highlights again this year. Take a few days off and stop by. Fortunately, this is the time of the year when the days are getting shorter again. Hey, I had to put on a sweater for the first time. Crazy, yesterday it felt like summer after all. I guess that's how it is with the seasons. You get used to the sun too quickly. Oh, they're giving me the whole screen now. That is one weird looking bus. All right. Excellent. A good day always starts with being late. And without Dr. Krakowski busting your chops. Or a busted coffee machine that doesn't even get warm. Anyways, I gotta run. Do I though? You late too? Uh, nope, I'm just here to show how dialogues work in Fall of Porcupine. Oh my god, I can't handle it. It's breaking the fourth wall. Uh, I see. Uh, thanks a lot. No problem. What? Excuse me? He just went off like, like Germ does in Night of the Woods. Alright, so we can jump. There's only one speed while running. Okay. I'm a bird. Why can't I fly? Did I just knock that down? I think I did. There's parkour all over the places. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought I had enough height. Here we go. Oh, I can float! I just noticed that. Oh, was I supposed to do that? Press and hold... Yeah, I just I just learned that game. You're a minute late. Wait a minute. 
I was about to say, what's up with that tree? Uh, someone there? Rudolph, you hear something too? What do you say? That's that last beer you said it had already expired. Make a pot of coffee. I got a hangover. My guy's still running. I think he stopped now. Okay. That stop most probably won't see any buses today. You got the day off, bus stop. Enjoy your day. St. Ursula. Uh, you howl, we heal. That slogan ain't half bad. I don't know. What is that hat wearing giant? Hey, big hat guy. It's gonna be warm today. Hope you won't sweat too much under your robe. So this does work a lot like Night in the Woods in that you might have several options or several chances to discuss something on the screen, like that statue. These generic hospital signposts are fascinating. Find them in every corner painting in all directions. Pointing. Still you get lost all the time. Must be frustrating for a signpost. You're doing a great job, signpost. Right on. Give us directions. Colors look faded. Yeah, see, just like Night in the Woods, you have a couple options here. Should have gone to the right. The last days of summer! So are, are, am I already in charge of patient? Oh, I guess you can leave the hospital. Oops. Well, while I'm not at the hospital, let's check what's over here. My God, graffiti. Our hospital could use more art like this. I'm afraid Dr. Heydrich and Dr. Theobald from hospital management have a different opinion. Nevertheless, thanks anonymous artist. I don't know how far I should go. I guess I'm going that far. Oh, I was wondering. They let me jump on the cars. I guess we can too. Why does this look like lips and the tree is kind of reaching down to kiss me? All right, now I'm in charge of patients. Time to do my job, earn a living. Wait a moment. Oh, are those chalk dogs? It's time I ate those, I was a kid. I read that chalk dogs have been put out of production for eight years. Consumer protection banned them as they didn't contain enough chocolate to be called chalk dogs. Scenes in there could be worth a fortune. Inedible, but valuable. Fortunately, I don't have any change. But I guess the machine ain't working anyway. Your day is coming, my precious doggos. The humor is uh similar to Night in the Woods as well. Good morning, Ingrid. Been working here two weeks and you're already late. That's not gonna cut it, kid. Yes, nice to see you too. Save yourself the trouble. Uh bad day. Bad? My coffee machine is full of mold! And the snack machine ate all my change. Ooh, I get options now. Um, there's a construction site outside the hospital. Three options. Um, any news? Did something happen last night? Oh, a whole load has happened. But I'm weak. So weak. I can barely talk. I need Chaco. Okay, got it. All right, that's my mission. Also. Wait a minute, I can't control... I can't go into the settings. The music a little loud. I'm gonna have to turn it down and post. So I need to get a taco dog for her, I guess. Hmm. Suspicious. Listen, trash can. I don't trust you. I've got my eye on you. I'm not sure what exactly there is to not trust. Wait a minute, can you take the stairs versus the elevator? The elevator's broken. Again. 
It often bugs me that I don't own a car. But at least I've got toned legs now. Gregor will curse pretty hard if he has to fix his thing again. Nothing happening here at all. Okay. The cafeteria is closed again. I don't even ask why anymore. But I don't mean to complain. Everyone in this hospital does their best. I'll go up the stairs in a moment. I want to see what's going on around here. Door is closed. Sign says main storage room. Okay. What is that? What is that phone down there for? That's the janitor's room. Hello, Mr. Glendower, are you there? Hey, leave me alone, I'm taking a break right now. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. All right, thanks for the notification of no, no tasks. What? I went out the back door? Wow. Either this is the reason for the closed cafeteria, or the surgeon's been busy. I, I don't think I even want to know. Uh, okay, well, she repeats that, I guess, sometimes. The ambulance has probably seen better days, too. I think even the equipment at my alma mater has more modern was more modern than this. Even that could be described as antique. Well, as long as it's still running, you don't have to retire it yet. I kinda like that old jalopy. Hey, Mr. Ambulance, how's it going? Been the old friend, it's my pleasure to welcome you here. The sun is shining on my hood and my gas tank is full to the brim. Fabulous day to be alive, don't you think? Absolutely, absolutely. May I take you for a ride? You're too kind and a ride would be a a more than appropriate diversion. Unfortunately, time permits me no such favors. Too bad, right? Feel welcome anytime. Should you permit, uh, should time permit you another visit? Oh, I'd love to. You are, as always, too kind, Mr. Ambulance. Always welcome. So our guy's name is Finley. And the music's awfully loud. So wait, it popped... It popped up in the same spot last time, didn't it? Go to the third floor, I guess. I don't know why that's popping up there. It's weird. No other keys doing anything. We get to explore all the floors. Can I harass like all the nurses? Oh God. E zero. What do you mean E zero? Can I can I go down there? No. Painkillers, towels, disinfectants, bandages. Just a regular hospital shelf. Or a hypochondriac shopping list. Wait a minute, why are they keeping painkillers out in the open on the shelf like that? That's uncalled for. Um I'm assuming did I come out? Of this door all right I did so interesting it doesn't take me to the next floor it just takes me into like a stairwell scene okay wait is this British I think this is British don't the British put the, the, the first floor on the second floor and the actual first floor is zero Pretty sure that's how they do it. This is the chief of medicine's office in the hospital administration. All right, well, I guess I'm not going there. Uh oh, music went down and things got serious. This is our surgical ward. This is my stop. All right, before I go in, I want to see if I can go up higher. There's more floors. 
This is our second internal medicine ward in the intensive care unit. Oh, wonderful. It, the door is locked. They not even use all the floors in this damn place. Alright, time to care for some patients. It's all lupus. Everything's lupus. I'm making up for house. Always lupus. Oh, I'm glad you made it before it got dark. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, Dr. Krakowski. Ask the patients not to die until you arrived. They might not be so generous next time. Yeah, I'll, I'll be more punctual in the future. Not more punctual, just punctual. Yeah, yeah, just punctual. All right, let's start the rounds. Time waits for no one. Let's start with room 301. <clears throat> Can't tell me what to do. Oh my God, how long is this hallway? Oh, this is the way to our break room. There have been days when I haven't set foot in this room once. Is there a break room at all if there are hardly any breaks? It's sad for the room to not be in use at all. Here's a storage room for our ward. Most of the time it's empty. That's why we get the drugs and materials from the main storage room around uh, on the ground floor. Okay. Can I, can I just enter these rooms? Oh my god. Can I harass patients? Not that I would. <gasps> this cow! Wait a minute, where are all its stomachs? I thought a cow had a whole bunch of stomachs. It won't let me hop in this room or run. I guess patient safety. But I want to fly and jump on their bellies. I guess I can. Oh, oh. I mean, is he alive? I'm not sure he's alive. He's not blinking. I don't know if I should tell anyone. I'll keep that to myself. What is this? Is like a freight elevator? I don't even know what I walked into. Oh. Excuse me, what? Did they get the elevator working? I don't think they expected me to do that. Guess I'm going back up. It wouldn't let me get back on the elevator. That's why I'm going back up the stairs. That was weird. Hope I don't get in trouble. They're probably looking for me. This is where our rosters are posted. And the cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike. Let's take a look at that bike. We're going in 301, right? I think I am. Are those all my rounds? Uh-oh. What? The bathroom's closed off. I wonder how that works in this place. Because birds, they don't have sphincters on their poopers. They can't control when they poop. They just poop. This seems to be a problem, them hiring a bird for a nurse. I'm questioning this entire city's ethics. There's something wrong going on here. Wait, they did say 301, right? Oh, here we are. This is Miss Mr. Kissinger. He was admitted last night with a high fever. He's also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are we feeling today, Mr. Kissinger? Oh, good so far, Dr. Krakowski. I had a rough night and I'm hungry. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you slept well here. Mia? Uh, yes? What do you think? What do I think? Uh, your diagnosis? Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, sure. What do you mean? You don't have enough information for a diagnosis? This, this hospital is questionable. This, I, these, these patients need to be, like, smuggled out. I, uh, I, I can't, I can't figure it out. 
you can't figure it out? But sorry about that. No, don't apologize me. Apologize to the patient. You really need to work on yourself, Mia. I know. So Kissinger is suffering from herpes zoster. Very pronounced case of shingles. Nothing serious, but we will keep him under observation another day or two. Let's not waste any more time. You will soon, Mr. Kissinger. Yeah, thanks. So I have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is almost over already. What? The day's almost over after one patient? All right, there's that information phone thing again. Me first! Did I get in before him? Oh, well, how'd they get in there before me? Good morning, Mr. Casperus. Mrs. Casperus. Uh, good morning. The painkiller's working. Oh, yes, thank God. That was one hell of a pain. Mrs. Casperus has came to us uh, yesterday evening with severe pain in her lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. What exactly kind of animal is is she? Is she a squirrel? I can't even tell. It's your turn now, Finley. Being late doesn't mean you can't shirk work. So go on. Well, anything else to say? Have you gone as silent as a church mouse? Urinary stones. The patient has urinary stones. Should have read about them enough times in your textbooks. Mrs. Casperus, I wish you a quick recovery. Call the nursing staff if you need anything. Thank you so much, Dr. Krakowski. And follow me, last patient, last chance. I can't walk faster. Oh, good morning, Mr. Emmett. Mrs. Emmett, how are you today? Uh, just a moment. What's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Uh, yesterday, I think. Yesterday, at midday? Midday yesterday? Really change the dressing now. I'm getting some, some spirit fair kind of vibes on this. Treatment, take care of your patient, patients. Press and hold the shown buttons. Do not press other buttons or more buttons than displayed. Try to react as fast. Are you kidding me? Are you are you telling me these are quick time events? I gotta change these these wet bed sheets with quick time events? Oh my god. M? What? Do I have to hold them? Eh? I see. What is this? What is even going on? This is an awful lot to change a bed sheet. I find changing a bed sheet in real life is much easier. Treatment complete. But the bar wasn't all the way down. What does that mean? And what the bar mean? So who was on duty yesterday? Uh, I, uh, me? I was thinking I, I was going to change it. The storage room up there here was empty. I, I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness on this ward. I mean, you hired a cow and a bird. I don't know what he's thinking. Uh, Dr. Krakowski, it was probably just an oversight. Bentley, you stay out of this. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far in if changing a simple dressing flusters you like that. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this ram. Dr. Krakowski, let's not get so worked up. You know yourself how stressful it is here. We're also constantly understaffed in nursing. These two are new. They need to get warmed up first. Uh, that's no excuse. I don't want to see a mistake like that again. And what are you doing here? You know, I'm siding with Dr. Krakowski on this, to be fair. I, you don't... No one wants to sleep in their own wet bed sheets. What are you doing here anyway? This ward storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. Wait, this is just like an orderly? <laughs> His rounds are over. I guess that's just an orderly. Thank you, orderly. Oh, I was going to thank you personally, but you just... Yep. I I'll wait here, I guess. No.
Am I being creepy right now? Probably. I don't even know what kind of animal- was that- is that also a squirrel or was that a deer? I can't even tell. Um, alright. Where did they all go? What do you mean? Hold on. I got no tasks. I- can I go home for the day? Oh. Never mind. I expected more from you, Finley. That's your best in wood to this hospital. Shit. Okay. Guess I'll just go harass the other patients then if I'm gonna get fired. I wanna be able to hop around. Oh, there's a tree sending him kisses through the window. All right, we're out of here. So what am I doing now? Am I just inter interfering with everybody's sleep time? Can I go to the bathroom yet? No. Oh! Oh, I can talk to him again? Oh, never mind. Yep, you don't need to chastise me again, you jerk. Dude, this hospital's got to be filthy, right? Oh. Hey, Carl. It was great for, uh, of you to stand up for Mia just now. And yeah, no problem. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. <laughs> it, it's broken. Well, it's not broken. I just used it a little bit ago. What do you mean, game? Again? Great. So, what are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Kukowski said. The ward storage room is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Well, you need help? I sure won't say no. No, but I could help you with the carrying. Let's not waste any time then. We'll take the stairs unless they're broken now as well. What could be broken about a staircase? You have no idea, kid. Alright, this ram has seen some... Oh, is he following me? Sweet! Will you jump on things with me? Yes. Let's go harass the, the cat. Yeah, yeah. We're not working right now. What are you going to do about it? All right. That should work, actually. I'm new at this job. Ground floor, alright. Storage room, where are we at? Wait. Where is the storage room? Wait, they... I'm confused. Can I go to the right? Was it out here? Oh my god, my memory. It was out here, wasn't it? Oh, we never really solved her issues, did we? We need the chuckle thing. Right? Down oh, now! I'll count to three! One! Oh god, I can't help myself. Two! Oh, never mind, I've had enough. Come here, you ankle biter! Oh, did I go in bird jail? Every good story has a good lesson! Never kidding with an angry, tired, hungry colleague. Except you want to learn the lesson. Um, excuse me? Wait, I don't even know. What's the difference between restore and recover? I don't even know. Alright, I hope you've learned your lesson. Now get the hell out of here. You almost made me spill my caramel latte. Alright, well that's a thing, I guess. Uh, was there a storage down here? Oh, there it is. This is our main storage room, my second home. Chaotic at first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yep, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff uh, together. Finley, you better stay back, kid. Anything could be hiding in there. Think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact it's a King Cobra. Why do we have any snake handling gloves then? We do, they're somewhere in the main storage room. Seriously? No jokes. About King Cobras. Okay, okay. No need to get hysterical. 
No jokes! Let's get this over with, kid. Agreed. Alright. I'm waiting here then? I thought I was helping. That's a lot of stuff. It'll be over if we uh, have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, it'll also be the end of the day for my back. This hospital is really wearing me out. Who knows how many more years my body can take it? Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Old Glendower? Good luck with that. Do you think he'll help us? Or do you think Gregor touches ends up even more broken than before? Come on, let's give it a try at least. All right, but only because it's just one room farther. I'm saving myself every unnecessary step. After you. Is that is that all the stuff we gotta carry up there? I don't know how we're carrying that. Uh, hello, Mr. Glendower? Who's this? Oh, the newbie. What is it? Could you fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. But you usually do it with duct tape and a glue gun. Yeah, that's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Uh, duct tape? Uh, listen, Gregor, we need the elevator. And I need my cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes, no help from me. Uh, well, if I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Yeah, maybe. Maybe? Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, all right. I was on the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash of the dumpsters at the back entrance. I took a look at Ingrid's coffee machine, but there's nothing more I could do for it. So my smoke's supposed to be there somewhere. Well, I'm on it. I'm going back to our stuff. Don't want anything else getting stolen. What? Do they gotta worry about stolen stuff in this hospital? Alright, well, we're right by the dumpsters. We can check there first. Burger said he was uh, at the dumpsters this morning. There really are cigarettes in here. And they still look pretty good. The reddish brown sludge must have been from on the pack before. Ew. I have an inventory then? I guess it's just gonna hang in the top left of my screen. Uh, Mr. Glendower? Hello? Yeah, newbie. Your cigarettes, I got them. We're by the dumpsters. Ah, oh, good stuff, kiddo. And you're really gonna fix the elevator now with duct tape? Well, you gotta work with what's available. I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promises they order new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. We'll give it a couple of good whacks. That usually helps, too. Hopefully you'll get off my back when I'm done with it. No problem. Uh, thanks. Ooh, we got a working elevator now? Or at least one that goes up, because obviously it can go down. I'm always surprised whenever anything works in this dump. I'm not promising anything, but... I think we can use the elevator again now. Your luxury. But well, while you can, it could be over soon. When that time comes, try not to be in the elevator. Aye, aye. Yeah, you were of great help, Finley. We use people like you in this hospital. Oh, I'm glad I could help. Now get going. You should start taking care of your patients. Talk to Dr. Krakowski. She'll give you your assignments for today's shift. Will do. See you later. There ain't no way around that. Okay. Um. Hey, Finley, you want to get yourself fired? Go and talk to Dr. Krakowski. Oh, okay, God. Oh, wait, what? I did not realize I was on this floor. Oh! But she doesn't want to talk. Wait, if this is the elevator, why can't I use it? Is this a... I don't know. I don't know the elevator system. Ah, uh, there you are, Finley. Where have you been hiding this time? Oh, I was helping Carl carry the boxes into the storage room. Pretty heavy. That's, every ki that's very kind of you, Finley. I'll let the nurses take care of that. Oh, I'm not a nurse. I thought I was a nurse. I guess I am a doctor. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. Uh, my smartphone? 
Yeah, we're testing digital patient records right now. You download your patient information before your shift begins. Oh, okay, got it. Press I to turn on your smartphone. Okay, I was using tab. That works too. Download today's schedule. Am I winning? I think I'm winning. Take care of my patients. Hell yeah. All right. I'm ready for this. Sup, yo? Hello, Mr. Kissinger. What's new? Well, I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my days, uh, my days lying in bed lately. Doing nothing. Looking out of the window. You know that today is the beginning of the meteorolo meteorological fall? Is that right? Uh, no, I didn't know that. Never had so little rain in the summer as we've had this year. Well, that's fine by me. Are you in any pain? Sorry, I don't really care about your pain. How come you know so much about meteorology? Well, when I was young, I wanted to be a meteorologist. We know so little about it, and yet we're all so dependent on the weather. We can ruin our day or make it perfect. Cheer us up and make us sad. Burn our skin or rain on our long planned picnic. Does what it does, and all we can do is play along. I'm sure you would have made a fine meteorologist. Well, why didn't you stick with it? Well, I had intended to. But I had a few things to deal with at the time. Besides, meteorologists are pretty unpopular. When it rains, at least. Oh, I see. You regret it? I ain't got no regrets, no. I'm very satisfied with my life. I enjoy my job a lot. I think things even turned out better this way. Imagine I'd become a meteorologist and lost the fun of it. Or other would just annoy me now. And I would have lost my wonderful hobby, too. Oh, thanks for the nice chat. But we've got to get productive now. Let me take a look at your rash. Uh, does that hurt? Just lying around is uh, already pretty painful, you know. No, it's, it's not that bad, I promise. Is there a mini game for me to check his rash? Game, what are you doing? Wait, is this all the mini games? Oh, that's a timer up top. I thought it was a progress thing. Oh. I get it. I get. What do you mean a B? What does that mean? Only part of his rash is fine? <laughs> what did I do to this guy? Uh oh. Alright, that's it. So what do you think? Well, that's, that's a pretty nasty case of shingle. We need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Recirculation seems fine, though. All right, your instruments are pretty cold. Well, they always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a lovely day. Wait, wasn't there an option to ask about his heart? I guess we don't care about his heart anymore. This is rash. That's fine. I don't even care about that guy. I'm not sure anybody does, really. No one's visited him since he's been here. That looks like the same guy from 301. How are you, Mrs. Zemet? Oh, much, much better. The painkillers have got me flying high. I'm oh, glad to hear it. Can I maybe have some more of them? All right, listen. We can make some extra cash doing that? Yes. Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. All right, this bird and I are not on the same page. Oh, that's too bad. And how about under the table? Oh, <laughs> see, she's reading in my mind. For later? <laughs> this is a mitt. All right. Family physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. Yeah, you won't need any more painkillers, I promise. We'll take extra special care with your treatment. All right, I'll take your word for it. Uh oh. What am I, am I searching her bed for like extra painkillers? Oh, probably not. 
Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hope, I hope this isn't the whole game because those aren't terribly fun. I don't want to do those every day game. See, it didn't hurt at all, did it? Oh, well, I don't know. I bet it'll be gone after dinner. We heard the doctor. Check on you again tomorrow, okay? All right. So it's this P31. How are those rooms different? Did the game tell me and I just don't remember? Oh my god. Can't you see I'm busy? Vet, you should be too. I am busy. I'm busy walking all over our counter here and there's nothing you're gonna do about it. Wow. I should be running in these halls with a slippery floor. Hello. Good afternoon, Mrs. Delwyn. Ms. Delwyn, sorry. My name is Finley and I am your attending physician. Oh, hello, doctor. My name is Cassia Delwyn and I am your patient today. Oh, damn. She's professional. She's more professional than I am. But here's to a good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient. You'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps. I got it all. No spoilers, Mrs. Mrs. Delwyn. Ms. Delwyn. Sorry, I keep messing your name up, Ms. Let me try to do my job well. All right. Wait a minute. Are these quick time events going to determine whether my patient dies or not? Am I, can I get an F on this and kill this woman? Uh-oh. Do I want to test it out? Wait, what's this crap? Diagnosis! Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that a right symbol is in the wrong position. A green mark shows you that the right symbol is in the correct position. In addition, symbols will be highlighted green when they are in the correct position. Symbol will not be in the correct combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. Did they put Wordle in this? This sounds like Wordle. Uh, press W and S to decide which symbol to use. What is this diagnosis tool I've got? All right, we're gonna work on your teeth, I guess. And your foot. I don't even know what this game is right now. Wait a minute. So I got two right, but in the wrong position? Oh, God. All right, so we'll... We'll do this. All right, the eyeball is right. And we're still with two. Okay. We'll leave the eyeball in there. I'm glad it leaves it the same. Uh, two and foot. This may be an inefficient way to go about this. No, not foot. Skull. Oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. All right, only one is in the correct position this time. Wait a minute. Which ones did I change? Oh God. Okay. Bone and tooth, bone and tooth. Heart. I don't think heart is going to be part of it at all, is it? Wait, can, it, can a symbol be used more than once? I don't know. I'll do a heart there. No, I'll do a heart here. This one. What? Oh my god! That was completely intentional and planned. You have been diagnosed and I get an A for it. You're not going to die, Miss Delwyn? Miss, was it Delwyn? I don't even know your name. So what do you think? I have a suspicion. We'll have to do some more examinations. Some will come by to, later to draw some blood. Tomorrow, we'll know more. So wait, did I, did I not just diagnose her? All right. You're an excellent patient. 
I'll recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow, then. Oh, I'll be here. Oh, could, could you do me a favor? What can I do for you? There's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere. I'll gladly take two tonight. What? Is she gonna pay for that? Is she gonna pay for that? She wants two of them? If I come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. But she wants two. That's ridiculous. I'm charging it to her room. That's $80 a piece. But the way the game is going, I would not be shocked if that actually happens. Oh, the, the thing up there for the elevator, it works now. Hello, sir. Did you take care of all your patients? Yep, I'll take care of. I don't know what to make of you yet. Your performance could be better. I don't want to demotivate you, but I have my eye on you. I want to see more from you tomorrow, understand? Well, I don't want to disappoint you, Dr. Krakowski. I'll show you what I'm made of. Go home now. You're working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Alright, well, have a nice eating. I'm just a bird. You're a cat. The fact that you didn't eat me, I, I appreciate it, so... Alright. I need two puddings and a choco doggo, whatever it is, right? I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. See if I can loot it. Can I loot it? Usually the first patients would be going for lunch by now. Once we're still able to walk, at least. I can't go in? Oh, no! Mr. Janitor? He, don't, he won't have it. No. Alright, I don't know if this is something you can actually do oh, in the demo, but I'm going to look around. See if I can find those things for those people. Okay, he doesn't want to talk. Or she, Mia. Is she going to do any work, or am I going to have to do all the work? Alright, literally nothing out here. Okay. I wonder if I could just visit all the patients' rooms and, like, loot the food that they got, right? What if one of them got the pudding... Just take it from them and take it to that other patient. I think that's what I'm going to do. Get out of here, kid. You're working the late shift tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, I finally get the chance to sleep in. Sleep in? Never heard of it. Is that youth sling? Oh, have a nice evening, Ingrid. Snack machine soothes me somehow. No matter how stressful my day gets, no matter what happens, the snacks sit here and grow old gracefully. You need constants in your life. Hey, already thinking about going home? Yeah, I'm ready for the end of the day and ready for my bed. What? No, no, no. Come down with to Gilbert's with me and we'll uh, have a drink together. Uh, one drink? One will soon become five. Yeah, come on, don't be a party pooper. All right, but let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. What do you mean? She's been standing outside by the ambulance all day. Go ask her, I'll wait here. I'm just seeing Mia down here. She must be around here somewhere. All right. Find Mia. After I... All right, here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to make you guys... Did I just pass the stairwell? I'm not going to make you guys watch me loot or barge into every patient's room and try to loot them. So I'll cut to either that or I'll cut to Mia. A red, well, technically white cross. Oh my god, they didn't get the memo. You can't use these! Alright, I checked all the patient's rooms. No puddings, no money I can steal. I don't, I don't think the answer is in this demo or we haven't run into it yet. Maybe we'll find it at the pub. We'll see. Carl and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Want to join us? Uh, Mia? Uh, hello? Anybody there? Finley, leave me alone. 
I don't want to go. Ah, uh, okay. If you change your mind, you know where to find us. Have a nice evening, Mia. Awkward. <laughs>